everybody. This is my dog. Um, unintentionally, she has become my emotional support dog. She, when I have an anxiety attack, which I haven't had in three or four days because the doctor gave me Buspar to add on to my Klonopin because I was already taking the max amount of Klonopin that you could take. <clears throat> And, um, um, and today I've had four anxiety attacks. This last one, we were walking in from going to pick up Arby's. Just, um, uh, you know, regular night. And, um, backstory on Lady, she just turned a year old three days ago. Um, she weighs 85 pounds. She is half Black Lab and half Great Pyrenees. You can see her feet. They're white. She's got white on her chest. You can see there. It's shaped like a star. She's a beautiful dog. She has hazel eyes, but she's not going to look at me because I've got, when the camera comes out, she doesn't look. And <laughs> she's camera shy. <sighs> but I'm taking... Two milligrams of Klonopin in the morning. Two milligrams at like two o'clock. Ladybug. Hey, show your pretty face. Show your pretty face. And then I take four milligrams at night, which is the max dose that is allowable. Um, for Consumption, you can't have any more than that. Um, and I'm trying to figure out how to switch my camera back, but I don't think it does. I don't think it works. Uh, oh, no, we want the light. Okay, I'm sorry. I don't even know how to focus on myself, so I'll just focus on the dog. Um, hey, hey, beautiful. Hey, baby. <sighs> They added Buspar. Hey, beautiful. Oh, you are such a sweet baby. Um, and I take the Buspar. Hey, darling. Three times a day. Oh, she's such a love bug. Look at that. She, see that star on her chest? She's a beautiful dog. Okay, lady, hold on. Lady, lady, lady. Wait a minute. We're going to eat. One minute. One minute. You sit. Sit. Good girl. So anyway, lady unintentionally has become my emotional support animal. She's never had any training. But about two or three months ago, she started noticing when I would like get to freaking out having a um, anxiety attack. And when before they added the abuse bar, I was having like <laughs> six or seven a day. I mean, I was constantly and I'm disabled um, because of my illnesses. So I'm here all day with her. But I started noticing a couple of months ago that she would get up in my lap and, like, put her head on my shoulder or her head on my arm um, and just the act of me rubbing her calmed me down. So when we walked in the door and I was having a shit fit, <laughs> having a bad anxiety attack. I came over here, I put the food down, and I sat down, and she crawled right up in the recliner with me and laid her head over like that so I could just 
pet her. She's just got groomed today, so her coat is really shiny. We bought her some new shampoo, some medicated stuff. But um, I'm going to send her to a professional uh, dog trainer. She knows things like sit, stay, take it, leave it. You know, just the basic things from puppy school at PetSmart. But I'm sending her to live with another person and then teach her more about my bipolar disorder. And if I'm crying, she needs to come to me. If I'm screaming, she needs to come to me um, to calm me down. So, wish me luck. My name is April, by the way. And, um, uh, let me know in the comments if, you know, anybody has had this happen. Like, we just automatically, like, as soon as she, I got her when she was five weeks old and we were, like, connected. Uh, as soon as I saw her in that box in the back of that woman's truck, I mean, a van, she just, like, jumped out at me. You know, at five weeks old, and I saw that the star on her chest, and I was like, "Gotta take her." And the lady was so just uncaring for these dogs. She had three beautiful girls and three beautiful boys, but because she was a black lab breeder, and these, um, the Great Pyrenees from down the street caught the mama in heat. And they're big enough to jump a fence. And so these babies came from that. It's a very odd breed. Um, my vet said she'll end up being like 110, 120 pounds. You can see her crate. It is, sorry about my feet. But that is like a huge crate. Um, like huge. So, but anyway, if anybody else has a connection with their dog like that, that has not been officially trained, let me know in the comments because, um, this is very, um, odd to me. I've never had a dog that could sense my emotions before. So, um, anyway, I, this, I've rambled on enough. Um, I hope everyone has a good night. I'm going to give her her ham sliders from Arby's because she's dying to eat. And um, I hope you all have a good weekend. And God bless.